All right, y'all, the truth about the Deadeye badge and the Blinders badge on NBA 2K23. This video is going to be loaded with a ton of information to hopefully help you guys shoot better on 2K23 and maybe even save you guys some badge points. We finna get right into the video. Y'all be sure to drop a like and drop a sub if you can. I'm going to get you guys the stats for both badges, both Blinders and Deadeye, so hopefully we can compare those stats and you guys can make a better assessment on whether or not these badges should be equipped on your players. I'm going to give my opinion on the badges as well but before we do that i need to get into this tweet that mike wang responded to in regards to the dead eye badge fizzle sent out this tweet saying explain how dead eye isn't popping up i've taken this shot 10 times the same way and it won't pop up at baluba buff dead eye as well as make the badge pop up when activating more you guys sound off in the comments section if you think that i needs a buff or it needs to be like they need to rework the system behind the dead eye badge to make it activate more often we're going to show this clip before we get into the comparison of the two badges i'm going to hit play here so you guys can see exactly what he's referring to he takes this contested shot on the ai and he thinks dead eye should pop up but the definition for dead eye explains that it's on late closeouts so that's the problem as to why he's not able to make the dead eye badge pop up on that particular contest from the ai and mike wang responds dead eye only works against late closeouts you have to be open when you start your shot and although a lot of us in the 2k community understand the mechanics behind activating the dead eye badge it just seems like a poor mechanic one i believe dead eye should be able to activate in limitless range because that's normally where you'll get a late close out with a defender sagging off so hopefully they can make that adjustment that it activates with the limitless range badge we all know the limitless range badge is op but a little more help to get that dead eye badge to activate more often especially it being a tier three badge so it's really expensive in regards to badge points so i would like to see dead eye reworked and activating more often as well if not just take it and apply it to activate on limitless range shots too i don't think a lot of you guys in the community may agree with that statement a lot because limitless is so op i know a lot of folks are like no we don't need nothing helping the limitless range badge but i would like to see it activate more often as well and i think there's levels to this stuff like the like we're gonna when we break down the comparison between the two badges dead eye and blinders i think we'll get a better understanding of when the dead eye badge is supposed to be used what type of players and what comp level usually activates the dead eye badge we're finna get right into that right now i created this graphic to help you guys better understand the differences between the dead eye badge and the blinders badge after doing some research on both badges badges and for the dead eye badge the recommended badge level is either bronze or gold the blinders badge is recommended at the gold level both badges are extremely taxing on your badge points and as you guys see in this graphic the peak make percentage for both badges the peak make percentage with the badge at the max level for the dead eye badge running dead eye on hall of fame would be up to 51 percent and what i mean by that is that you guys will be able to make 51 percent of your shot on late closeouts for the dead eye badge so in other words you activate that badge there's a late closeout so the badge gets activated you can make up to 51 percent of those late contested shots for the blinders badge the peak make percentage on side contests and if i'm not mistaken it's about a 45 degree angle as to where the badge can get activated up to a 45 degree angle or more and the peak make percentage for the blinders badge is 46 percent and the reason why i felt that was important is because a lot of folks out there don't even activate these badges but they're wasting so many badge points on these two particular badges with very little activation and that's why i mentioned comp levels because as you go on and increase the level of competition that you're playing against that's when you'll see these badges activate more often because the defense is way more intense giving you guys way more opportunities to activate 
activate these badges against lower level competition you're probably not going to activate these badges as often as you would like and considering those peak make percentages with both badges at the max level you can see those are not high percentages this is why these are comp level type of badges because any little bit helps although these badges are extremely taxing on your badge points when you're playing at that level accepting the idea that every little bit could help and could serve as a game changer out there for comp play on 2k23 these badges are priority for the primary shooters out there let's go through the differences between the two badges the dead eye badge reduces the negative impact of late closeout contests which we all know about that i explained just a little while ago and the blinders badge reduces the negative impact of side contests so this way with these badges equipped that contest won't have as much of a negative impact on your jump shot allowing you guys to hit more than you actually would without the badges but where things really change between the two badges is for the dead eye badge you guys would really need to hit the center of the green window on your late contested shot to take full effect and receive the full benefits of the dead eye badge as this badge increases the make percentage in the center of the green window so you gotta hit you gotta really know your timing out there to make full use of the dead eye badge and mind you keep in mind that 51 percent you could only really go up to about 51 percent and that's like maybe one out of every two shots that you guys are able to hit on late contested shots and for the blinders badge it increases your make percentage but it really expands throughout the green window not just the center of the green window this is why more folks lean towards the blinders badge because it's easier to activate and it gives you boosts throughout your green window as opposed to the dead eye badge only receiving that boost at the center of the green window so that's definitely some huge differences between the two badges my personal recommendation considering how taxing these badges are on your shooting badge points is to use these badges sparingly if you know you're going to play tough level competition then consider equipping these badges and it really is about play style as well because if you're a point guard like a 6-1 glitchy point guard and you use your speed boost to get open you guys may be equipping these badges more often but if you're like a spot up shooter it's not absolutely necessary to have these badges especially if you're playing against low level competition the reason why we learn all about these badges is because we just want to shoot better out there save badge points where we can and equip them when we need them and the stats in today's video were provided by the good folks over at nba 2k lab and if you guys are looking to shoot better in nba 2k 23 nba 2k lab is actually expanding their jump shot tool so that you guys know exactly what you're getting into we're going to talk more about that in today's live stream but i wanted to show you guys what you're receiving when you consider nba 2k lab premium and if you do consider it use promo code all city to save yourself 20 percent we're going to get into what 2k lab premium offers in regards to their new jump shot tool you could actually connect your control to your computer and test out your jump shot timing the muscle memory tied into your jump shot and find the absolute best jump shot for you so for instance if i want to test Allen iverson i got Allen iverson selected right here you can see the green window for Allen iverson and and the percentages hopefully you guys are able to see this here i'll zoom in so you guys could see the percentage with Allen Iverson, Steph Curry, and Hardaway. At this area, if you release your jump shot at this point, you will have a 60 uh, make percentage. But as you hit the center of the green window, it shows you guys that considering you're hitting that center of the green window, you'll make 91% of your shots. And this type of tool provided by NBA 2K Labs is absolutely priceless. I highly recommend that you guys consider joining NBA 2K Lab Premium so you know what your jump shot looks like and you can go through your green window and figure out the percentages and maybe readjust your timing. This is the option here, I'll scroll up. This is the option here where you connect your controller and then a whole new graph is gonna come up showcasing that when you press and release what your green window looks like is absolutely amazing. 
highly recommend always recommend nba 2k labs if you guys are having trouble shooting out there or if you just want to become better shooters we're gonna review this more in today's live stream y'all be sure to keep it locked right here at all city live tv because we got a bunch more nba 2k 23 news information and updates coming your way drop a like drop a sub on your way out i'll catch you guys on the next video or live stream easy y'all